Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a new episode of a Minecraft project. This is my Minecraft Let's Play where I have spawned in this absolutely beautiful world and this beautiful seed in the brand new 1.18 update. Where I'm going to be trying to Let's Play from um, the start of me creating this small hut to the end of completing all the advancements Minecraft has to offer. Um, I will say it's taken us a while so far because for however long this series has been going, uh, many of ours, I've created what was supposed to be a small hut, um, which is slowly as you go through it getting furtherly bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where I'm talking about like making like tunnels to the depths of hell. I then decided we make a Christmas tree um, as we pass by my dog, which is named Bruno. And if he dies, I'm going to be giving $500 away uh, to a lucky subscriber on the channel. But speaking of being a subscriber on the channel, there's a lot of you guys who don't actually watch these videos. And in the last one, I said, you better be a subscriber on the channel because when we get into this Christmas tree and like unboxing what's inside the chests, you're going to get a chance to win some swagger. So if you're not subscribed, I highly suggest you click the subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell and leave a comment down below because I'm going to be giving away, <gasps> boom, I'm going to be giving away in this video right now, guys, five Razer Black Shark V2 headsets to five lucky people. So if you are here and you're watching the video right now, leave a comment. You can leave a comment saying uh, anything to do with Christmas. It could be to do with the video. It could be to do with whatever you want. Just anything nice comment down below. Um, you may indeed get picked and we'll be getting in touch with you between now and the next episode to let you guys know that you've, uh, you've won yourself a Razer headset. So yeah, Get used to that because I'm going to start doing more giveaways in these videos. I've always wanted to do it, but like back in the day, it was always like a frowned upon thing of like, oh, you can't do giveaways, you can't do this. Um, and nowadays it's like, hey, listen, um, if you don't do giveaways, you're doing it wrong. So uh, we're, here we are. Giveaways, boom, I love it. And I don't know if there's going to be another episode out between the next one, but who knows what could possibly be inside this one here. Also, what is glowing up there? Is that a zombie or is that a zombie villager? I have no idea, but he's chilling. But we got a lot of things that we need to do today, guys. Um, obviously, our Christmas tree probably could do with some more decorations. So we are going to indeed go spelunking. I, a lot of people say I say spelunking too much. But you know what? My series, it's my show. I do what I want. Because uh, what we are about to commit a murder right now. Um, the reason why we're going to go spelunking is if you look at my inventory, I don't even have a stone pickaxe. I don't, I don't even have a wooden pickaxe. I don't even have an iron pickaxe, so we are going to go adventuring, uh, find a new tunnel system, explore it, and see what the Caves and Cliffs like new update has to offer. Uh, because right now, I'm not actually going checking anything out. We need to do it. Now, um, if there's only two of you left, I don't think I'm going to be able to murder you. But the rule was, if you did leave Cow Cocaine Island... Wait, what was it called? Crack, crack Cow... This... Right, right, we need to put down the sign. This sign will be known as... You ready? C crack... C crack... Cocaine, cocaine, Island. There we go. That, that's it. That, that, that seems, that, yeah, that seems solid. Crack, cocaine, Island. I should have done population too. Don't you dare to... The rule is I'm supposed to kill you now because you've e exiled from it, but I'll, 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 let me breed you, let me breed you once first and then I'll kill you, okay? Because um, I, it took me a long time to get you right. So <laughs> let, let's stay focused on task, which is something I'm just absolutely capable of doing. And uh, we're going to quickly slap a salmon. We, we always like uh, giving a good slap to a salmon at the start of here because we're going to need some food for the adventure. We've got Gerald, or Gerald, Gerald, uh, chilling over there because he is going to become our villager who is going to just make absolute madness happen. I'm going to continue to go slap some salmons because I have got, what is it? I've got four, I've got four fish, three steak. Um, I don't really think that's going to last me a long time on an adventure. So give a, a slap of a salmon. There we go. A big, big, big slap, big slap. Wait, did he just drop bone meal? What the hell? You can kill a fish and get bone meal? Oh, I'm not even going to lie. I didn't even know that was a uh, part of the game. Because uh, a lot has changed. And oh my gosh. Can, can I show you guys something right now? Which might actually change your life in Minecraft, right? If you're ever doing like a skyblock survival or some sort of thing where you need dirt, but there's none around you. Watch this. If I take two dirt, right? Watch this, watch this, right? And I swim over here, right? Where's... I think there's some gravel over on the on the Calcane Island, right? By the way, this blew my mind. If you didn't know this, right? Leave a like crating. And if you did if you did know this, leave a like crating. Everyone wins, all right? But no, honestly, if you actually knew this, I want to know the answer. If you want dirt, but you haven't got a lot of dirt, but you want more dirt, right? Watch this. Did you guys know that this is a recipe? So look, I have two dirt, right? Two. I combine it with two gravel and I make coarse dirt. And then place that down, right? Look at that. And then I do this, and then all I do is simply pick it back up, and then I have four dirt. But then you could you could duplicate it again by doing this again. So you put wait, was oh I got flint. Watch, I take this right, and I put and I put and I put that there and there and there and there, and boom! I got no four. I had no idea. 
someone told me that whilst I was live streaming the other day, and it absolutely blew my mind. So, to whoever that legend was, thank you so much. Um, I'm doing it like a a skyblock challenge at the moment and it's going amazingly like it's so much fun like and i, and I know this is usually a thing that we like we kind of edit this out but so to dear, dear editor orion don't do it because i just want to show people real quick right look at this i made i made this if i show you the actual challenge i just built up from the ground up and i know these maps that you can download that are pre-made but i didn't want to do it look i just built up built this little island here with some with some like iron inside it inside the chest you got these starting materials one tree, some dirt. I was cool. And then I built an obsidian portal over there. And I built the end portal over there. And I thought, oh, yeah, it'll just be a good, fun challenge to do. Well, I've been doing it. And look at how much I've actually developed, um, like, doing this. Like, look, look, at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. I've got villagers. I've got the, 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 the like, we've got the end, uh, like, an under approach. Like, it's sick. And I've got diamond armor, which should be like, how did you get diamond armor? And all I'm going to say is villagers. So just throwing this out there, that if you guys enjoy a micro project, would you like me to do a Skybot like ch survival challenge and record it as like a YouTube video for you guys? Because we've had a lot of people saying they've been enjoying it whilst they've been streaming it, but I'm tempted to record one as a video or upload it as a video because it's been such a fun series so far and I've been absolutely loving it. So throwing it out there, let me know if you guys like it because I've been well and truly loving it. Now, have I got... Yes, thank God. I was going to say, do I actually have any uh, stuff in here to be able to smoke things? So yeah, we do. All right. We are going to take our supplies that we're going to need. Crafting tables are a must for going spelunking. We'll take some extra wood. We'll do this. And we'll take the dirt. Uh, and, and everything else will be fine. Um, I say we get prepared with stone pick... Do you know what? Uh, do I do I want to mine... Do I want to create like a, a typical mine shaft? Oh, I don't know here. I've got the ability, you know, to... You know, we said turn this into like a mine shaft and everything like that. But I'm thinking like, do I actually want to make like a strip mine down into the depths? It would be good. I think strip mining is a thing of the past now. Because, like, yes, you can do it and find loads of supplies. But, like, what I'm thinking is, do we do we do it, like, the new school way of, like, explore, go find a cave, travel around the cave. Oh, there's some iron there, actually. You know, I might actually go and get that real quick. You know, I, I think I think that might be a, win, a, bit, a bit more of a winner win a chicken dinner doing it that way. So, um, right, let's quickly make some sticks. Let's make a stone pickaxe. And then let's get... Oh, wait, why can't I make a stone pickaxe? I can make a stone pickaxe, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, let's go collect that iron real fast uh, up top there, and we will start our adventure going off spelunking in the world of Minecraft. I, w I wasn't even recording, but look! Ooh, baby! Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, uh, so I'm always supposed to keep recording it, it, like in this, so like when I see something, like you know, you catch my natural reaction. But we found golden armor, some obsidian, some flint, which I totally don't need. A silk touch shovel that'll come in handy. Mending pickaxe. I don't know about that. And a, a respiration helmet. Do you know what? I'm going to put that on for now. Uh, I, t I take that as pretty much a win, you know. I would have liked to find like maybe like a big block of gold out of it or something like that. Like I've actually once found one of them before and I found the, uh, what's it called? The, you know, like the ultimate rare like not chapels or whatever they are. And that was an absolute win. And, hey, we got two eggs there. That's good. We could take that back and maybe get a bit of a chicken farm going on. The more food closer to going on this adventure or the spelunk, the better. I really don't want to explore too far out, but we may we may have to just return and just oh my god, it just keeps going and just dig straight down to try and find where where I'm looking for right now. Is there a horse over there? That's, de that's, de that's definitely a cow. But you know, oh wow, the mountain ranges continue. Oh, I love it. Right, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kill all of you because I need as much leather as possible. All right, so every single one of you gonna die. Cow death montage inbound. Another one. Hey, 180 faking no scope. Damn it. Yeet. Yeet. There's a bumblebee. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Uh, it's nearly night time. So let's do the uh, right thing. I hope you enjoyed my uh, MLG montage. Uh, let's get some. Let's get our sleep on. And then I think we're actually going to head towards that massive uh, like looking mountain over there. Because you're telling me that doesn't scream there's a big cavern and ravine inside me. I don't know what does. So let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Yes. Oh, this is what I wanted. Oh, hello. Oh, I see an invitation for adventure down here. And we're going, right. Do you know what? Should we set up like a base camp? Like, day five, we're going, we're going in. All right, so uh, a, little, a little base camp. I don't, I don't even need it. Right, I'm going to stare my way out just so we're prepared. I like it. It's like, it's like... The, uh, the settlers. I'm the first forefather to be here. 
Okay, so we're gonna make a little we're gonna make a little hut here. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. It's totally unnecessary. But you know what? This is my Minecraft Let's Play. And I play Minecraft the way I wanna let us play. Alright? Guys, this is what I should have done on <laughs> I like how this is what I should have made in the first episode. A small hut. This was it. Wait, do we even need the ones there? I don't think so. Let's have a look. Nope. This is what this is legit what we needed to make in the first episode of this show. <laughs> and instead I was like, we could do this and we could do No! No, oh, you're dead to me. We could do this and we could do that. Uh I'm an idiot. Oh, I love it. And then I sleep. So if I die on my adventures, I will spawn back here and I'll be ready. For the next one. Right, so let's dump all our junk in here and get ready to go mining. Right. One small step for man. One giant leap for this spelunker. Okie dokie. Right. Now, this would probably be the smart thing to, uh, you know... Oh, ah! I was about to go that way, you, you dirty boy. Right, I, was, I was actually about to go that way. Oh, there's actually so much coal here. We could have just mined. <laughs> Instead of burning steps and, and slabs and stuff like that, I could have just mined all this and we would have been set. Okay. Into the depths we'd go. Oh, I know you guys are going to want this smoke. I know you guys are going to want this smoke. Go on, blow up a day. Boom. Beautiful. Help me mine the iron. Why, oh, actually, I think he, I think he may have broke a piece of the iron there. That's oh, a backfire. My bad. All right. Yeah. Oh, see? We already... Oh, we already knew this was going to be a good success. I'm going to have so many iron pickaxes, right? That when we return... Oh, hang on a minute. How deep is this? Oh, damn. That when we return from this, we are we're going to be able to do as much... <gasps> What the hell was I doing there? What the hell is this terrain about? Okay, first of all, that was a weird squeal. And second of all, I actually thought I jumped into, like, a 30-foot ravine then and was going to die. But we're going to have so much iron that we'll be able to do, like, all the excavation work down to the bottom of the core of our house. Uh, no problem whatsoever. But I'm like it. See, this is what I wanted. A big... Ra oh, my gosh. It just keeps going. Like, a big ravine that just, like, expands and expands and expands. You know, I was trying to... Matrix dodge pack... What? How am I missing? Whoa! He wants to smoke, not me! Why does he look like he's, like, coming in fast? Oh. Why are you coming in fast? There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Is that another skelly? I think it is. I don't think so. Boom. Get him. Uh-oh. we got endermans. Get him. Go on. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yes. Did we get a CD? Wait, what's that? Wait, what the hell's that? Oh, wait. I did. I actually got a broken disc. Oh, stop it. We got a broken disc. Hell yeah. Oh, I love that. Right. Now we are currently at... Number five, the best experience I think I've had finding diamonds down low has been like minus 30. I think that's my like ongoing experience uh, from in recent times. You know, I was going to say, you're not going to attack me. I say, surely you want the smoke. I want to take as much as the uh, the good loot as we can get. Oh, wait, up, oh, going further. We're going further on the ground, are we? Ooh, glow squid again. Thought that was a diamond. The severe lack of diamonds so far. Quite upsetting. Well, this is a win. I wonder if we can find a chunk of iron. The chunk of iron's pretty intense. Wait, can you actually... Oh, hey, up. Oh. Lots of zombies coming out of nowhere. Back it up. Be dead, mate. That guy could have slayed me out with that sword. I don't think so. Level 25. You like that? How much iron have I got now? 38. Hell yeah. Again, like, genuinely getting excited over it. Oh, we're going deeper down. This is what I wanted. Okay, further down. Oh. Oh. Come on. Where are they? Where are the Desmond Tutus? Oh, oh wow. That, I, I, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. This is the first one I've ever found. Every Minecraft. No joke. Wow. Oh, it sounds magical. Uh, right, what am I getting rid of? Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll make... I haven't got that. Screw the sticks. All right. Hell yeah. So could I take these? Oh, shit, no. All right, my bad. Wait, which one can I mine? All right, is it... Don't I take the... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe right. We need to chill out a second. Don't, don't I need... Uh... Oh, it sounds so sick. All right, screw the string. I don't want it. I'm pretty sure you grow. They gr the amethyst grows. Oh, what's this? I don't know what this block is. Oh, calisite. Oh, okay. Give me this. I want a little bit for home. 
All right, I don't think any of these are grown enough. I'm pretty sure they need to be massive, right? And then you can mine them and get the shards. But I'm pretty sure in saying that they grow on this type of block, whichever that one is. All right, I'll take I'll take a stack of this. Sure, why not? I'll take screenshot coordinates, so in case we need to come back and let it grow, we will do. Is, it, is this grown? Nope. <laughs> I'm really good at judging whether or not it's, it's ready to be harvested or not. But hell yes! Okay, that's a win. We didn't find diamonds, which, you know, would have been probably more handy at this stage in the, in the game. But um, we found our first amethyst uh, section. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Oh, nice! We've actually found it into an actual cave area now. We've got dripstone. Yes, we can take some of that with us. So apparently you can actually use that as like a source to... Gather lava or make some sort of a lava farm, which might be pretty good. You know, like if you want an iron bucket and not use coal and stuff like that. So I'll have to like look into that if it's something that we're going to like incorporate into our world. But heck yeah. Oh wow, you can actually hear it dripping. Yeah, that sounds epic. Whoa. Heck yeah. Hell yeah, I love it. Right. Um, So I'm going to want to take some of this. So uh, buy string. All right. So if I just mine that and then there you go. Dripstone collected. Do I need this? I don't quite know what this block is. What is this? What's this called? Drips oh, drips on block. Wait, can you combine like four of this to make a block then? Oh, you can? Okay. Can I break this down to... No, you can't. Just say, can you make it? Nice. All right, let's take some of this then. You make a fine addition to my collection. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nice. So you got a point up and pointing downwards. As you can collect all that. Wicked. Very, very cool. Very nice addition. We've seen everything on this adventure. We found the new dripstone caves. We found the new amethyst. This is all great. So cool. I would be so good if we don't find diamonds down here. I'm at minus 18. I thought I was like at 25 or something. Wow. This is so sick. Oh, well done, Mojang. Or Mojang, even. Whatever you want to be called. Change your name every goddamn week. Oh, hell yes. There's got to be a diamond sat around here going, take me, Thomas. Take me. Do I have one diamond still left at home? Nope. Nope. Thank you. Get a crit here. Yes. Oh, come on. Where is the... There, there is one in here. I can smell it. Got nothing left. Just got absolutely nothing left. This music's not helping either. It's like... It's like the music of, oh, well done. You tried. But I failed. Get wrecked, little guy. You're not going to kill me with a spade today, all right? I got time for... Oh, wait. He actually might kill me. Wait, I got to eat. Oh, my God. I was to get slaughtered by a baby with a shovel. Yeah, sit a bit, mate. Down you go. Anybody got time for that, all right? Nobody. Nobody. Especially not me. They used to call me Tom the Great. Now they call me Tom the Diamondless. <laughs> Can I have a time? All right, listen. You're going to make my day... By giving me an ender pill, right? What's that? Imagine if I reveal the diamond just doing this here. <gasps> Boom! Boom! I gotta watch my hearts. I just realized I'm not fully healed. Boom! Boom! Did I get one? No, you're dead to me. Quite literally. Oh, there's creepers everywhere. Really? Guys, why? Guys, why? I'm gonna outdo him. <gasps> oh my god! That's ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why is there so many? Alright, I don't I don't know. But maybe maybe that, that's a lesson to find out another day. Why is there so many creepers down here? Oh my gosh, it goes further up. I have no I'll have no idea, but I'm returning to the surface because I've been bested by the mine. Minecraft has beaten me for the first time ever. I don't think I've ever gone mining in Minecraft and not come back with a diamond. I've always gone out with an adventure in mind to come back with Desmond Tutus and never been bested. Oh my gosh, that that made my heart flutter then and I realized it was Lapis. <laughs> Just one, please. I don't want to give up, but you're making me. All right, I'm pretty sure with my spidey senses of being able to extract out of caves, pretty sure this is my way out of here. So I'm going to back it up all the way to the surface and we're going to have a look at what loot we managed to procure, if that's the right word, from uh well not so not so little adventure. This this turn this ended up turning into a massive adventure. 
but it just wasn't successful, sadly. You know, sometimes it happens. Oh, and some, sometimes squids suffocate to death. I don't know. I don't write the rules. I returned from my adventure in said cavern. I think we should have definitely gone, like, mining in that cavern because um, this this one left us dry. But I ended up coming out of this with a little bit nearly two full stacks of iron, which is crazy. Amethyst, which we've never had before, which is great. Um, and a bunch of supply blocks, really. So, um, uh, great journey, great success. But I think we should head home, smell everything, and assess our situation. I also think that we should turn that villager that we captured um, or start planning on turning him because then if we actually make him like the, the, the miner or the what the hell is that guy doing? Or the wh whatever he is, um, then we can maybe start getting iron uh, diamond pickaxes from him. So rather than going finding the diamonds ourselves, we can uh, simply just keep buying him from him from the shop so it's cheaper. So all right, let's uh, let's pack up shop and let's head home. Just before a little uh, cow slaughter montage on the way back. Yee! Yee! Booyah! Bing bong! Skadaboosh! Now, I have a question to ask. Can I, perhaps, maybe, silk touch this beehive? Oh, I didn't realize there was one in it. Hey, you, will you come to the beehive? Oh, it worked! Amazing. I, I just managed to silk touch a beehive. Uh, don't know if that's going to come in handy or not, but I'm taking it, because why the hell not? I'm sure it'll be useful for something. I'm pretty sure it's for, like one of the achievements, which is like, what is it? Gather, uh, wait a minute, is that a horse? That's a horse. Unfortunately, I can't ride it, but uh, at least at least we know where to get a horse from in the future. Over here, looking beautiful, like white stallion in the wild. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an achievement of gather is it gather honey without upsetting a bee. I think we've got to do that. So we'll just we'll add that to our list of things to do. Now, I know it's not very festive, but I just thought the bees might enjoy it and it'll look like a decorative bauble. Uh, I think I'm going to put the beehive on the tree. Um, maybe, maybe a bad idea, but why the hell not? I'm going to go ahead and plonk him here. Um, I get in there, you bastard. Come out. Oh, he is. All right, so uh, we've now got a beehive in our Christmas tree. Hey, who's, it was the, it's the season of giving. And he gave him, he gave himself, he gave himself to the, to the cause, which is the greater good. But you know what I've just realized when we've run all the way back here, by the way, is um, I brought no coal, like, whatsoever. So even though I got, like, the blast furnace with a little bit of coal in it, I don't know if we're going to have enough. So I may end up making some buckets. And then if you remember, the island over there, I may run over to that, just bucket up some uh, some lava and then bring it back just so we've got, like, a really rocking supply. And then I think it's time we copy pasta the mining uh, style here all the way to the very bottom um and hopefully this leaves the gap space here in the middle where we are indeed going to put our enchanting table and you never know when we're done we could put a beacon and then the beacon light can shine straight through here up to the top of the sky and it could look absolutely sick so yeah let's get everything smelted and have a look at our treasures after a good night's sleep now i decided i may actually keep this is like a side of the wall area but move it and then this might become like a mass furnace area um, I bought, I built another blast furnace for speed and efficiency. Because if we go in here, I now have, uh, not a lot of gold. Wait, what the hell? Oh, wait, I've just, <laughs> I mean, like, what's going on? I brought these buckets for this exact reason. To actually be efficient. Like, so I can actually keep, keep the coal. You know what, I'm going to take the coal. I'm going to put that in there. Because that, that's what I was meant to do. So we got 64 iron and loads of gold. Which is amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. All right, let's have a look at our rich pile. Okay, that's just mega. 64 iron. Do you, do you know how many pickaxes I can make? Do you know how much work I can do at clearing out this area? And how much I can do to blow here? It's going to be great. It's going to take a long time. But um, with the power of movie magic, as we, as we like to call it, I think we shouldn't have a problem. Now, let me just lay out where this is going to go. Because I would love to see that if we did do like a doorway entrance into here. You know, or like th this is where our enchanting room is going to be. Could we get away with, like, changing the layout here so we can still enter it? I don't know how we can do it. Like, would we have to do, like, a stairway into here? Like, remove the edge and then you walk onto it and then this just looks like it's floating? I don't know. We're going to we're gonna trial and error it together and it's going to look beautiful. Where we are? We're currently at 60. And we started at 72. Oh, my God. It's gonna, it, if I've got a spiral staircase all the way down, it is going to take such a long time. That's not even funny. Now, actually, because this is actually going to take a really long time, I'm thinking, can I make... How do I make a hopper real quick? Right, I need a chest. Should we make a... Just a very small auto-smelting furnace for our cobblestone? Obviously, I don't have to do it here, 
But I'm pretty sure I can do this. Okay, so let me get two hoppers on the go. I think I might need more than this, but get a hopper on the go. I'm going to only top it up with lava, and I'm just going to put it here, which I know is going to look ugly, right? Just bear with. It is a temporary one, okay? Temporary. Just like how I say small hut, it's going to be it's going to be temporary. So we need we need we need the double chest. Then we need a hopper going into it if I'm right in saying. So that goes into there. Then we need another chest, okay? And then I'm pretty sure I just put cobblestone into there, which fills that. And then, oh, <laughs> does anyone notice like the main thing I'm missing here? My bad, but I, I don't goofed. I don't, I, I don't goofed. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I, I messed up. Ignore me, ignore me. All right, all right, all right. So what I basically want to do is I want it to go into that. But to get it into that, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to hopper into that. Beautiful. All right. And then we're going to need a furnace. And we're going to put the furnace there. Then we need to hopper into the furnace. Like, can I do it this way? I wonder if that's the most efficient way of doing this. And then and then we place two chests here like that. Yep. So then anything. I'm going to make, does that fill the side? I'm going to, wait, I might have done this wrong. Just filled the wrong one. Damn it, fills the wrong one. Okay, so let's let's say we're gonna do this one again. Alright, power move magic. Alright, so we're gonna remove this block, this block, this block, this block, and this block. Alright, so now I'm gonna get a hopper, which goes directly into the top. Ta-da! Then we're gonna with the power of placing that and, a, and, a, and another pickaxe and remove this. Okay. It's now gonna go a little summer like this. We put the cobblestone in there, which goes into there, which goes into the top of there, of which the lava bucket is smelt in a way, which then goes into there. Oh my gosh, it's almost like I knew exactly what I was doing from the get-go. So if I quickly ransack, like, a bunch of this, all right, and throw that into there, there we go, there we go. But we, will, we will need cobblestone eventually, but I think this is a pretty good idea to have this, you know, working away and... Giving us items for later down the line. So, automatic smelter it is operational. It might not look the best. And it's not really self-sufficient because it's not feeding coal into it. Um, but it will do the job I need. Now, I tell you what. That is a beautiful sight. Barry the bee. I always call my bees Barry. I don't know why. Uh, I'd like to also share that I'm deadly allergic to bees. So the fact that I brought them to my actual household is quite interesting. But Barry the bee is flying around my house. And I think it's time that we uh, we say, you know what? We are supplied up enough. Look at this. I got all the wood in the world. All right. We've got all our supplies smelting away. We've got food not to worry about. We've actually got the ability right now. If I go ahead and uh, make myself some wood. All right. There's some sticks. Boom. Boom. We can also make ourselves item frames because we can start getting organized. Also, I'd like to point out that I did just dig that hole into the wall with the idea of realizing, you know, this like whole wall of legends thing where I take someone's comment from the like the comments down below and place your name on the wall, like from the episode. Um, uh, well, this is obviously not going to cut it. That's going to be, you know, not that many, that many, not that many names on this wall. So I was thinking maybe we open it up to like go along a corridor into here. I think that would be pretty cool, but I then realized that it doesn't give the room up here all that much space. So, um, yeah, I did start digging out of this, and I did start placing down the wood, and then I realized that's the, supposed, the stuff I'm supposed to record for the video. So, my apologies, my bad, I'm just trying to make it look good. But, we have now got the ability to start making our stuff look way more organized. Now, this is a test to actually see if this will work for the first time, because it may end up being, like, too much overkill... Or just, like, an absolutely, uh, like, ridiculous amount. Which, if I'm right in saying, the way I wanted to do this is have it so each block can be seen from either side. So, you know, like, when you look down the lineup of where things are, you know, this is granite. So, you go to that chest and it's granite. You go to this one and it's diorite. You know, like that. It actually shows the block on the outside edge. And I really like that idea. Um, now, obviously, we can't do that, like, to, 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 to this bit here. I could actually place it down so you double it up. But I just think it's a really good way of featuring what items are in what chest. Uh, I think in this case, this one doesn't need to be here because it's the first. This is like the first listing of items. So this one, for example, glass. We put the glass in there. It kind of doesn't make sense. The glass and extra diamonds and dirt and everything. But this chest, for example, we're gonna turn this into coal. So the coal chest. But then I need to place it here as well. So give me another one like this. I think it'll actually give, like, a lot of texture to the room, which I think will be quite nice. We got our redstone. I'm going to need two, actually. I need to keep remembering I need two. Two redstone. Then we got lapis. We take two lapis. Boom. So you've got this nice way of featuring that whenever you are in the room and you look for needing an item, 
you can like almost identify it and tell where it is, which I think I think is just a nice little feature to sort of like add into the room. So we're gonna go for it and we're gonna keep that. I do like the actual you know fence post coming down, but as people notice, it glitches out a little bit. So uh, we're gonna say hell nah to that. Remove your face. And we're going to place these going up it. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got enough. But we've got our mob loot, for example, like down here. So, oh, hang on. I'm going to go there instead. All right. So, we've got like mob loot there. This one's going to be our, uh, our dark cobblestone or whatever it's called. And then this one's got nothing in it. So, I'll remove that, place that there. And hey, presto. Look at that. I think this looks great. It's a cool little feature. Something so simple. But I do really think it will add so much depth to the room. Obviously, I could place it on this outside edge. If I wanted to as well, but I just don't think that's kind of that necessary. I think what I'd like to do, just to give ourselves a bit of, like, progression to the house. You know, like, we keep doing these things and messing things up left, right, and instead of, like, I'm, repl I'm, pl I'm placing down lanterns and making, like, the mountain look nice and clean is... I definitely think we should just do something about this floor in here. Because, it, like, the stone... The stone is fine, but this... This isn't quite fine, so... Maybe for now, we rip this up, we put just normal stone down, just to see how that looks, um, and see if it looks a bit cleaner throughout. Uh, we could follow the theme that we've done for the rest of the house, which is, you know, like, w like wooden floors, and then, you know, like, a boundary of wood, uh, of, like, logs. Because I've got logs for days. Like, if we were to come to here, knock this out of the park real quick, and then go bing bong bow, uh, we could actually keep this as, like, a theme, like a bordered edge. Oh, okay. Maybe not. It's like a boarded edge throughout. And I think it gives it a nice little bit of feng shui. Depth, you know what I mean? It like breaks up the room as to where you're going and what you're doing. So we could do this all as wood. Or we could do it all as stone. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll mix it up with a few different patterns. And we'll see what we're fancying. I do think wood would look quite nice. I was tempted to slab down. But then I think it'll be too high to try to reach them up. That you feel like you're in like some sort of Harry Potter wizard land library room and i kind of didn't want that so yeah let's let's dig all this out real quick replace it with uh some some wood and we'll see how this goes we could even if we wanted to we could potentially on these blocks like place this along here then you've got like a path you know could go around but at the same time i don't know i've just got to make this up as i go so uh, movie magic the floor is now wood Wow, would you, would, you, would you look at that? Look at that. The, the magic. Now, straight away, I'm going to say there's definitely too much wood. Like, it's just such an open space of wood, which, by the way, this music in the background is just going to have to go. You ain't itchy if you feel the vibe. Um, it, it, There's just too much wood here that I, I, I can't physically handle it uh, to the point where I'm probably going to put some sort of, like, pattern in. How I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do with it, I don't know. We could even, I've just thought of, like, some random idea. But imagine if I did actually want to do like a mine shaft going like down in this direction. I could, right, like potentially make like an entranceway into it from like here, like as an arch, and then it goes down. So you can still go around this, but then we've got like another sort of, you know, like platform leading down just to add like another element of depth to the room. So then like you go straight down into that and then you're over that way. That could be pretty cool. Or it could, oh, I'll tell you what this could be. <gasps> I've had an idea. I've had, a, I've had an idea totally unnecessary but imagine just hear me out imagine if these were rail cart systems so from here i could take a rail cart that would like shoot me under the house so we've got like you know a beautiful platform here but the rail cart would go down like over to here and then like maybe around around this i don't know we, we don't really need a rail cart system but i thought it could be a good idea because i've never really done like a railway track just to be beautiful you know to see the area Imagine that, though. How cool would that be? Like, that would actually be really nice. And imagine, imagine if we did it like an, oh, like a full loop. So it goes like down here underneath this around. It could go up into the mountains or it could go around the mountainside. It could then go, oh, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. I'm getting really excited. Like, I've actually really never done like a really nice rail car before. It usually goes underground and you don't see it, but it could go around the entire area just to showcase how beautiful this seed is, right, all the way round, but then coming through the back of this mountain, all right? Oh, my God, this is going to take so long if I was actually to do this. Oh, my Lord, my, my heart's pounding thinking about it. But then it could then come in. So, like, see, you know, like how we've got this one here, like, this station to start with. We could also then have it coming in through here and popping out the ground here. So, it's like a full rotation of... You go that way and come up, come back this way. But the way we could connect this is how I want to build a bridge from here 
into the villager area up top, um, this is like a way for it to be like a stopping point over there. That could be sick. That that's like long term plan. Lo like long term plan. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna start that or even attempt that because that is like serious. Like I need all the equipment, like diamond armor, netherite, everything to the T uh, before I even begin that. Like that that's gonna require so much effort and so much energy. But uh, yeah, I think it's looking good. We've got all we got all this looking nice and clean stone now. Like went up and spruced it up a little bit. I do think we should do something to you know just give this a bit more of like you know. Not not feng shui-ness to say, but like you br just break it up and just like give it a bit of a, a, a separation of the, of the vibe. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It looks good. It definitely looks good. I could do it kicking the kicking the ceiling through real quick because uh, that'd be something that I'd like to do. And then I'd feel a bit better about this room. But you may notice um, I'm potentially thinking of carrying on this like pattern around it. So let me just go get some more actual wood from outside of the forest. And let me just copy this pattern all the way along the outside edge. Because it might just break it up a little bit. I kind of wanted to do it here. But I think that won't really work that much. Right. How does that look compared to the other side? See? Hmm. I like it. I like it. Do you know what I almost wish I would have done? The steps like this going up. Do you know what I mean? So then it would have been like you step up to it. But then I might as well have done the entire flooring slab. So that probably wouldn't have worked. But yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I think it looks good. All right. So if I was to say, you know, symmetrically make this match, uh, how, how far how far do I have to go to the corner? So I know we've got we've got the steps coming out to here. All right. So we go like this. So steps from is it from this block? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the steps going from here. One, two. Nope. Okay. And then is it from here? I think so. Then we got to do this along. Now how many? Just hypothetically say, how many along is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven along, seven along. Gotta make this identical as it possibly can, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Right, and then it goes in on itself. I believe so. Now, that... Now, this doesn't have to be exact now, because obviously we can go on top of this area and we could build... Do you know what we could build here? Do you know what we could? Do you know what we could actually build here, guys? I'm not even joking, guys. This, this, this could actually be perfect, guys. Is this actually happening? Is this, is this actually happening? Could I, could I do it here? Is this the spot? Oh my lord! Wait, I need a, I need a, wait, I need a, I need a three by three area. Right, give me that. Give me that. Ready? Okay, so one, two, three. Hit one, two, three. So and there. Wait a minute, and then piece of resistance. Oh! Oh, I've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made the beacon. Now, you could say it's a house of light, but it's not. It's a beacon, all right? Shut your mouths. Give it to me. Look at this. It's a beacon of hope for where my home is, for where my people need to find me. I love it. All right, cool. All right, so we, I, 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 20, 20,000 light ratings and I'll build a lighthouse there. Okay, all right, you heard me. You heard it. I, I'm a man of my word. If you guys, if you guys get this video twenty thousand like ratings, I'll build a, I'll build a lighthouse there. All right? Everyone's like, uh, what if we don't want you to build it? <laughs> uh, can you, can we, can we not get the like ratings, Tommy? You just not simply build it? Oh, come on now, come on now. Wait, wait, what, what goes here? Oh, what a shock! More wood. Do, do I, co do I copy this up? And then is this the pillar here? All right. So there, and then as to what's supposed to go in the background, mate, that looks like stone. So, gonna go ahead and just fill you in. That can't be right. Oh, no, it's not right. That's why. It is right there. Okay, and then fence post, apparently. Go in. Apparently. Wait, what is right? What? Oh, oh, I did it in the wrong place. My bad. Apparently, fence posts go in there. Yeah, there we go. Dr. Pepper. Well, oh, wait. Do I fill it all in? Oh, my bad. Do I need to sleep? Oh, hell yeah, I do. God damn. The night is approaching. Hey, I just realized. That block's off there. You son of a bitch. Wait, is this going to look weird now? Or is that right? Uh, yeah, I think. I think for the symmetry. I got. Wait. I got. Nailed it. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, that looks way more symmetrical. Yeah, I like that. Cool. 
All right, back up to the progress. Uh, symmetrical room. How are we looking? How are we looking? Now, I, I, I don't really want to make this 100% symmetrical. So I say we do something unique with this here. You know, I said I want to do the wall legends. I say we connect this up. Like maybe not for that side, but I say we connect this area. I think we make this one, like a, like an L-shaped kitchenette, something or other. I don't know what we want to put in it. We could actually house that furnace here. Like that could just be something, and then we could actually house in here, like our full light furnace area. That could work because we don't need to go building rooms that we we're not actually going to use or fill up, which <clears throat> seem to be doing that with all those chests. But they'll get filled eventually, right? And eventually means like a million years from now. Oh, I need to watch out because this here is now, I believe, slabs. Yeah, slabs. Is it is it slabs all the way to the edge? Oh god damn it! Is. Oh, it actually no, it's not. That's that. That block, right? It is. All the way along. I'm making progress. This is what I shall do. I'm a man with a plan. Progress shall be made. Okay, now, just to clarify. Why don't I just take a picture and have a look at what it is? Yep, so as soon as you go outside, with the two wide gap. Oh, it's just one layer. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay. So you're actually... Wrong. Right? Yeah, you're wrong. A little bit. All right, and then slabs all the way. All the way to the end. And then we do this here. So hoping I've done this the right amount. We've got a bad feeling. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. God, for once I got something symmetrical. Oh. For once I got something symmetrically correct. Whee! He's evolving. He's learning. Oh, bollocks. Failing. Yeah! Look at it! It's almost a full room! Almost done it! Almost completed it. We can actually, like, up-ramp this into here. Yeah! And then this could be wood. And then, uh, should we make it one more wide? Oh, this is where it, this is where it'd be like the symmetrical thing of the entrance way, innit? Hmm. Okay. So this is, unless, oh! Unless we turn this into the doghouse! Oh my god, should I turn this into the kennel for my dog? <laughs> should this should this become Bruno's bedroom instead of mine? Yo, Bruno, come here. I got you something you won't believe. Hey, Bruno. Wait, where's the leash? Come here. Boom. Wait. Wait. Come here, mate. Come here. How'd you like this as you be in your new bedroom? Get on the bed. Get, get on the bed. Get on the get on the bed. What do you think? Could you see yourself? Could you see yourself this being your room? Hell yeah. I think he loves this. This could be a well. This could be a. That would be a perfect dog's kennel. And then we can actually turn this into my new bedroom. Not like the view. Well, it's not like the views are any better here or anything like that. And I could easily get attacked by bee killer bees at any point. But I, I don't know, man. You know, like, what, what you could say, like, why why do we need this big room that I'm making here? What's well, like, well, there's your, there's your answer. This is actually going to become my real bedroom. And it could lead to my lighthouse that. I could potentially build if you guys forced me to do it. Please don't make me. Gosh, look at the difference this has made. Like legit. Look at look at the difference this has made. This is so nice. This entranceway looks so much better. Can I somehow create something here to make this work? Or is this just gonna look weird? I've got a feeling it's just there's no way for me to not make this look weird. See what I mean? It feels like that should wrap around it. I think these, these might have to go. I think these might have to go for now, and then we put something else back in there. Mm. Can I fence panel it up? No, that's fine for now. <laughs> fine for now. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, now we've got to clip this out. Because I do believe I need some more stairs. Boom. Alright, how do we copy this? Alright, it's just one ledge there, so it's backwards stair on the on the pillar. Stairs on the pillar. Yeah. Go. Yep. Okay, so I'm thinking, is it, is it, is it upside down or right way around? Try right way around. Okay, so I do this right. All the way down. By one. By one, all the way around. Anyone here? Yeah? 
think so. Whoop. Okay, moment of truth. Let's go look. Did I mess it up? No! Oh my god, I didn't. Oh my god, who even is this guy? A real syndicate, man. He's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We can actually shape this to look at, make it look a bit more symmetrical. Eh. Eh. There we go. Right, how's that looking from the front? Eh, looks like a bit of a weird, weird mushroom stew, but whatever. I like it. Hell yeah. I kind of want to see if I can... Can I delete that? I can put that there. How's that? It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, right? Oh, I like that, actually. Hell yeah, upside down stairs for the win! I feel like you're going to smack your bonnet on that. Sit a bit. You're off. You're gone, mate. You're gone. Oh, I might turn that into a skylight. <laughs> I do love a good skylight, you know me. But yeah, look at this. We now we've got a symmetrical door. Uh, we've got symmetrical rooms. This is great. Bruno, this is now your doggy home. If you, you don't even believe me, do you? No, I'm not even joking. No, Bruno, it's actually yours. What's that? What's that? What's that? Where is it? Bruno. Look, I am a man of my word. Watch this, Bruno. Bruno, I am that. I am. Where am I? I'm that rich. Watch this, bro. I know I made the wrong thing. Bruno. You know what makes it a doggy room? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Do you need a loom? No, you don't. Do you know what you need? A dog bowl. Oh! That's for you. I know. I'm such a good dad. Um, do you want me to lower your bed for you? Or is it... It seems a bit high. It seems a bit high to me. Uh, for his kennel. Right. Now, does, it, does this work? See, as though it's a doggy bed. Yeah, this works. Oh, wait, can I push you in there? Eh. This dog is a-okay with this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, right. Get that lead off. I'm gonna push you in. Oh, he's got his own little... Ah! <laughs> this is where I used to live. And now it's yours. Oh, Bruno. Look at this. He's so cute. I love it. What do you think of your bed? Okay, wait. I'm gonna have to drag you a little bit. Wait, why can't I drag him? Move just a little bit. A little bit this way. Ah! I go back. Go back. Go back. Right. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Wait, should I give you some carpet? What's that? Give you some carpet. No? Yeah, carpet. Oh, bollocks. Doesn't work. Uh, sorry, bro. <laughs> you, you ain't getting carpet. My, my bad dog. <laughs> no, my bad dog. Right, I need a bed now because I've given him, I've given him mine. Bed. Wait, can I not make a, a, a carpet out of a light great wool? Oh, I've not got a wood, that's why. Oh, I used it all. What do you think? Okay, that looks crap. I'll work on it, all right? I'll work on it. You'll love it. When I work on it, you'll love it. Don't judge me. When I work on it, you'll love it. All right, put some torches down in here so I don't get mob spot on me. One out here. Probably one above the, the, the house. <gasps> and look at it. It's beautiful. Um, and my new bed. I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it. Maybe in here? Maybe this is a good way, because then we can actually, like, come out of here, into our master bedroom. Oh, brilliant. Into the master bedroom. And then and then we sleep. Look at that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? From a failed attempt at a spelunking session to try and find diamonds, we've now made a symmetrical-looking house. Oh, my God. The crowd... The crowd goes wild. And do you know what? I've even got enough wood, if I collect this... Watch this. Watch this. I've even got enough wood to put that back. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. And then we walk in here. Oh, do you know what I've realized? I'm not done. I'm not done the other side. Hmm. Do we prefer this side or that side? Oh, definitely this side for sure, isn't it? This, this looks so much better. I think... I wonder if I can get away with, like, this weird pattern in it, right? I know I keep trying to do this and it's not working. I wonder if I can get away with, like... What the hell? Excuse me? Whoa! The hell is this? Ninja assassin being sent to... Oh, I hope. Oh, that's terrible. Ninja assassin being sent to kill me. Do, th do we think we can get rid of this? Uh, away with this? Like, all the way around it? Let's just see if it works. Right. No. And then stairs all the way around. Does this give it, like, a nice... Like, a nice gappage? Everyone loves a good gappage, right? Watch. And then round. Look at that, guys. 
texture and depth. It's a bloody border. Oh, we love it. Right, let's see what it looks like when we go around an edge. I love it. I like, I actually love it. That is perfect. What if I did it the other way around, though? Like this. Oh, is that better? Oh, this might be better. Oh, this might be better. Ooh, is that better? It's either away from it or onto it. I kind of like both. Oh, I don't know. I probably need to see the whole thing, is it? Yeah, I like that. That's a good, that's a, that's a good, uh, it's a good divide, isn't it? Look at it. Mm. Uh, it's a good divide. I think I prefer it the other way. All right. All right. Because I feel like this is pushing the block away from texture. You see what I mean? Like, you've got depth here. I think, I think, like, you've got the depth between this, then wood, and then the other depth. And then, and then you've got, like, the center of the room. Yeah, I think that looks better. Nice! Look at this. We're already making it look unique. Oh, my God. Beautiful. So, let me go ahead and collect a little bit more wood just to uh, complete off that section. And I think we're going to be good. We've made a lot of progress. I think it'll look beautiful in the end. Footprint placed. It's time for Tom's addiction of... Oh, what the hell? Oh, I've got... <laughs> Damn it. I've not even completed this side. I've just realized I've not removed them and put these everywhere on the opposite side. So, now... We have to do this. We have to do that. Uh, I think I've got a feeling I'm going to need way more than that. I got a feeling I'm going to need way more than that. But Tom's addiction of placing downstairs for the pattern they create continues. Now this is where it may look funky, uh, but I'm hoping it can somewhat be salvaged. Because I'm going to try and place them all down and see whether if I find out I've made I placed these the wrong way around, I'm good. <laughs> if they were supposed to be placed facing the other way, I'm going to absolutely headbutt my keyboard right now. If we place this down all the way around, we get our nice little pattern, our nice little border. We ignore the saw. We keep our going. And almost, almost there. We have completed. Oh, well, oh, no. I needed one more. Are you joking? Have I got one? Yes. I had exactly one stair left. <laughs> and boom. Look at that. Yes. Look at the depth that that adds to it. We've got this nice texture going around the edge. Then we've got this. I'm not sure about this one. I may I may just like straight cut this. Like I may just like, you know, get rid of that and then make this like a wider open area and then just cut straight through to it. I think it, I think it looks a bit dodgy. Not gonna lie. Uh, but we can we can tweak that as we see and feel, uh, and feel like we must do. But yeah, look at that. And then loads of wood left over for later. So for spare. So that's pretty good. But yeah, absolutely buzzing with the progress made. Uh, this room is now looking sick as chips. I can't wait to deep dive into here and potentially make the enchanted room underneath this. The house is looking much better, even though this is now a mess, but it looks better than what it did. We've now got, uh, look at this, I fixed it up. I did as much work as I could and placed blocks left, right, and center uh, uh, to, to, to the point where it drove me crazy. To where I've made him, it's own little thing. So Bruno, congratulations, you actually have a home. You are, you are loved. I'm gonna just try and, I just wanna try and tuck you all right, I can't tuck you in it. Can I use water to push you? Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh, great. Bruno, look what you've done. Look what you've done. It's all, it's all you. There you go. Bruno's got his own home. He's got a little play area. He's got a lovely view. Um, As to why a dog needs that, I don't know. But yeah, it is absolutely looking wicked. And I think I finally got to a point where I can say we have made enough progress in this episode. We didn't just build a tree and that was it. No, we made enough progress in this episode to say I'm happy to end it here. Oh, it's not because I can't help myself, all right? Listen, I, I, I've, 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 had, I've, had, I've had a break in between uh, when I last said something and now, and I thought, you know what? I, I can make a pot. Um, I just went outside. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, um, maybe, maybe if nobody pays attention to the mistake I've just made, no, no one will notice and no one will care. But what I was thinking is we could have some, add some more finishing touches uh, to the dog room. Oh my god, have I got enough to make um? Oh, I don't. I'm gonna minute. Uh, technically, I do. Wait, if I if I go ahead and just take this real quick, just, just ignore the fact that I'm nicking this, right? Wait, what, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? I'm adding some little details to the dog room, right? Like, watch, watch. <laughs> I put bone in it. 
<laughs> he loves it. So look, he's got a little, he's got a little bone. And then this was supposed to be me putting a flower in there, um, but it won't, it won't float. So I don't quite know how I'm gonna do this. Wait, wait. Give me, no, give me, no, give me another bone. No, nope, no, nope, go ahead. Give me, give me, give me another bone. All right, and then give me some bone meal. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, and then if I just run out here and play some, put this down. Boom. There we go. Ah, perfect. All right, sweet. Look at that. I'm unlocking all the recipes. All right, we have a dandelion. My dog can guide the last dandelion. And you could you could say that this isn't scientifically possible, but at the same time, we could say, you know, like them like fancy moon lamps that float, that could be like one of them. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get away with that one either. So am I gonna have to I'm just gonna have to raise it? It just doesn't look right though. Like look at oh, wait, what is it? It just looks so high. Is is there any way for me to fix this? Like what is going on? Like can I put like a fence post in there and then like maybe another one? It just doesn't work, does it? How am I supposed to do this? Like can I I yeah, I, I don't I don't think this one's gonna work, Chief. But like, can I I don't I can't can I just agree that I can't put it any I can't put it lower. Because if I try and put that on that, it won't work. God damn it, science is hard, man. <gasps> wait, 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 200 IQ, 200 IQ, 200 IQ. What if we lower this, right? And then we put this there, then that that <laughs> I'm gonna explode. Oh wait, 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 I got an idea, I've got an idea. What if I do this? And then make that. Then we flip that upside down, right? And then same with here, right? And then we move that. Okay, okay. And then, we, and then we flip that upside down. Then we place a pot on top of it. And then we place that there. And then he's got a dandelion. And he's got a bone. Oh, that, that's so much better. I'll rotate the pot. Look at that. <laughs> hey, you tell me I don't love you, eh? You try to tell me I don't love you. You're the best, Bruno. I, to be fair, I don't like his name. Can we leave? Can we? Can we? Can we come up with a vote? Can we come up with a vote that we change his name? I liked Uno because he's the one, but Bruno. I don't know about that one, Chief. Now, something I do know of is this Wall of Legends thing. If this is going to become my bedroom in here, this is just this is this isn't really going to. It's not going to work, is it? Like we've got we're going to have to worry about the, the the chests and the walls and everything here to the point where I've just come up with like a slight idea. Right? You know, like how we're talking about putting glass where you can see, like, underneath here in the enchanting room being down there. And that could look good and everything. I was thinking maybe the same thought could be said with here. Like, when you walk up the top, right? Say we do this, 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 and this. Right? Kind, of, kind of like this. Kind of, kind of like that, right? But then we fill that in with glass, right? Like this. Yeah. Right? But then, underneath it, like, actually underneath this... Is where the Wall of Legends is. Like now, I don't know how we're gonna get to it. I was assuming that we could just go, you know, like down here and then into here, and then we go through here. I think I think this could work. It's a bit of a, a jittery way of getting around to it. But say if I just quickly like mine my way up to here, do you reckon? That, do you reckon this will break through about where I'm thinking that glass is? What do you reckon? Is this gonna be a success or an absolute fail? Where's this gonna break me out? Come on. Come on, big daddy. Oh, okay. Where are we? Where's the glass? Is the glass here? No. So where's this? Where am I? I'm here? Oh, is it? Wait, so is this where I've got to put the glass feature? And then the wall legends is underneath it? Oh, damn it. I was, I was, I was thinking that might work. Did you like what I was going for, though? Like, did, you, did you like what I was going for? I, th I thought this could have panned out quite well. Like, we could still make it work, technically. Like, look, if we actually hollow this out, right? Like so. Let's just hollow this out. This could be the Wall of Legends underneath it. Let me do some, let me do some excavating and see, see what we can make happen. Now, I don't want you to get mad at me, but you know, like, when I've already got, like, one big project that I've taken on, and I'm like, oh, we can do another big project. Well, <laughs> I got carried away. <laughs> so, you know, like, how we've got this entire platform, and I'm like, I, I, and this was like, oh, yeah, we could just make it, like, a cute little thing below us. Well, oh my god, okay, uh, didn't realise that block was missing. I should really go replace that before, uh, someone falls through that and ends up killing themselves. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of got a bit carried away, and, um, I thought, if we're gonna make a wall of legend, we need to make it epic. And the only way I could think of making it epic was by making this. Look at it, it's freaking epic! So now, I've got space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least 12 episodes on this wall. And then we've got some there and some there. So you never know. Looks like the show's going to keep going for a while. And I have to transfer the names from upstairs. But 
And I might have to fix that floor a little bit just to make it look a bit like, you know, better from above. But, um, yeah, th this is now my new Wall of Legends spot. I got a little bit carried away with it. And obviously, I've got a lot of detail that I need to do to clean it up and everything like that. But, uh, I couldn't help myself. I just, I just I physically couldn't help myself. But I thought, you know what? This would make a cracking spot uh, for the Wall of Legends. So, let me go ahead and transport the names of these people. Uh, one, two, and three down below, and then we'll add a new one. Again, if you want to end up on the Wall of Legends, uh, you can do, and you can go down in history forever. Just leave a comment. You never know, I might pick you, just like I'm going to do this next person now. So, going on the fourth spot of the wall is going to be Liam Hughes, and his comment was, About time, Tom, I've been itching like a bloody crackhead waiting for this. Which means, apparently, you guys are actually enjoying this show and this series. So, I want to say thank you very much for that. Let me quickly delete his name, lower it, and then type in episode... Four. So, Liam Hughes, congratulations. You've made it to the Wall Legends. I thank you, Face. I do want to somehow work out a system to be able to, like, get people's names um, on the wall, but then also send you guys out, like, a Syndicate original t-shirt from a clothing line. I think that'd be pretty cool, because then, uh, yeah, it just makes it a bit more worthwhile to send people, you know, uh, uh, sorry, to get people on the on the wall, you know, get some swag from it, and all that sort of stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool. Do you know what would be even cooler is if I actually made, like, a limited edition shirt or something, and then that's what they got sent out for it, like, Minecraft-related, um, uh, a Minecraft project sort of shirt. That'd be pretty sick. But, guys, we have made, um, in, in this one video extra bit alone, the last 10 minutes of this video, we've probably made more progress than we have the entire episode, but we are building in scale for what is going to be, possibly... The best Minecraft project world I have ever made. You thought a Minecraft project? No, no, no. The, you, and now I'm getting confused. You thought the Minecraft project was good. Wait until you see the end of this. We're going to go into details of making plant pots and dog bowls and cauldrons for doggy water and stuff like that. It's going to be absolutely amazing and I'm just so excited. I have truly got the urge to want to build in Minecraft and that's what makes me excited to play. So, fingers crossed you guys love that energy and that passion. So, make sure you click the subscribe button. Ding down the notification bell so you get notified. And I'll see you guys in a few days after Christmas. I think the next episode is going to be out. Where we will be continuing on with this world. So, don't think I'm giving up. Because I'm not. We're going to turn this whole place into something beautiful. And you lot can join me. J j j join me. You can join me on that journey. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to catch you in my next episode. Have a great holidays. And I will see you guys in the next one. Much love. Adios.